this is a tag. So I'm tagging Virginia Country Boy. I'm tagging Jim River Gear. Addiction to the Wild. Less. You've been tagged. Gonzo. Over on Heath Canyon Outdoors. You've been tagged. Black Fins. You've been tagged. Salty Kayak down in Florida. You've been tagged. Limic 1900. You've been tagged. Kayak Frank. You've been tagged. Big Mike 315. You've been tagged. Captain Dave Sport Fishing Charters. You've been tagged down in Jacksonville, Florida. My old stopping ground. Question number one. What is your bucket list fishing trip? And I would have to say for me, uh, my bucket list fishing trip right now, I would like to take an Alaskan fishing trip. You know, I've heard people talk about it. Um, it's just something about the, seems like the, the untapped resource, you know, just how fresh the water is, the ice, you know, that whole thing, you know, just catching um, different varieties of fish that I'm not used to catching. So I would have to say an Alaskan fishing trip right now would be my bucket list fishing trip. Who is the first person to ever take you fishing? All right, the first person to ever take me fishing, I would have to say would be my parents. Um, my mom and dad both, you know, love fishing. And I, my earliest memories of being alive are related to fishing. All right, question number three. What is your all-time favorite day of fishing? Uh, this is a tough one. Because when I think of successful days of fishing, I have to go back to Jacksonville, Florida. I have to go back to the Mayport Princess, a day that I was out there fishing. We were fishing with just shrimp. Uh, deep sea fishing trip. Um, I caught a, a really big amberjack, three red snappers, a couple of quite a few uh, vermilion snappers, I think they're called. Um, I think I had a trigger fish that day, um, like a nice spade fish, sea bass. I mean, it just was a really good day of deep sea fishing. So I would have to say that's my all time favorite day of fishing. Uh, closely followed by a day that I had with my son uh, that he would say he outfished me. Maybe he did. What is your favorite brand of fishing tackle and why? Well, I know you just saw me do a, um, an unboxing and a review of Shimano uh, not too long ago, a few videos back. I would have to still say that Abu Garcia is my reigning favorite uh, brand of fishing tackle because that's just what I know. Um, I'll have an update on why I say that in the next few videos. All right, next question. If you couldn't fish anymore, what would you do instead? Okay, I guess for me, after I stopped crying, um, I found out when I lived in Raleigh that um, I really enjoyed landscaping. You know, um, I got to learning about perennials and, and annuals and, you know, plants that need sun all day long, and plants that need morning sun, plants that need afternoon sun, plants that need shade. So I guess if I couldn't fish and I had to pick another hobby, I probably would pick landscaping up and uh, and do it for fun. I just do it for fun. But I remember when I started trying to do it for pay, it didn't seem fun anymore because it turned into a job. So uh, <laughs> there it is. I probably would do landscaping. If you could go back and tell your 15-year-old self one important thing about the journey of fishing that you would take over the course of your life, what would it be? For me, it would be you're going to have some good days, you're going to have some bad days, but you're going to fall in love with it. You're going to want to go out and stay all night doing it. You're going to want to do it when it's raining. You're going to want to do it when it's uh, sunshine outside. You're going to want to do it when it's cold outside. It's just going to be something that brings you a lifelong time of happiness and peace. So hang in there and uh, keep on fishing. And also, young man, be kind to the fish. All right, next question. If you only had one fresh bait, what would it be? Like worm, shrimp, night crawlers, mealworms, crickets, you know, that type of bait. Um, because of where I fish here in North Carolina, I'm in the Tidewater area, I would have to go with shrimp. Uh, shrimps can be pretty universal. Uh, we'll bite when they run. The, uh, we'll bite it when they run. Uh, the blues will bite it when they run. Uh, the puffer fish will bite it when they run. Um, you may have to work a little hard, but reds and flounder, you know, black drum, if it's real fresh, they'll bite it. So if I had to pick one bait, I'm going to say shrimp. 
Alright, this next question is for the pier fisherman. If you had to pick one fishing pier of all the fishing piers you've ever fished on as your favorite, which one would that be? Alright, now this is a tough one for me because I've fished on quite a few piers up and down the East Coast. Um, but I'm going to go with Ocean View Pier in Norfolk. Um, and the reason why is, is, is nostalgia. Um, from a standpoint of when I was a kid growing up in the 70s, um, I fished this pier in, in Norfolk. And, you know, it just gives me a warm and fuzzy just to think that I'm out there fishing with, with my mom, my dad, my uh, two brothers, my two sisters. And I can even remember a time that our grandmother joined us. And uh, we fished and fished that pier, you know, treated it like a campground almost. We fish on that pier so much. But uh, love that pier. Uh, fished it a whole lot. Caught a lot of fish. Um, different varieties. So I would have to go with Ocean View Pier uh, in North. All right, so this is a tag, ladies and gentlemen. And the way this works is that these same questions that I've asked and answered, you'll take these same questions and you will ask and answer these questions on your own channel by shooting a video the same way that I just shot this video. You don't have to move around like I did. I just wanted to give you a little variety, but uh, here are the folks that I am actually tagging. If you are in the sound of my voice, you are being tagged, so I'd encourage you to, to shoot this video because let's continue to build our brand as a genre, if you will, uh, here on YouTube because, you know, the hair channels do it, the beauty channels do it, the DIY channels do it, uh, the thrifting channels do it. They do what are called tags, so, you know, so they share these videos and, you know, it just grows my friends. So let's, let's, let's kick it off. Let's grow my uh, All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this tag. Let's have fun with it. And as always, this is Chris signing off.